Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Missouri Tigers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Tigers might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here are some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He tries the three. He gets the bucket. Try to go inside. Rucker handles the feed. Dumps it in. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Trying to feed inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Got it. Stolen away. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. the pass in the paint. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. There's the screen up on top. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. They look to get it to the inside. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Missouri are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Controlling the ball. He strips him clean. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Up and inside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the New offensive player to seal him off. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Oliveira handles the pass. Knocks it down. Cross court. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The skip pass is picked off. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Passes out, wants to get better post position. Sinks it. Uh -huh. 
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the inside. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Looking for contact. Great shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries a three. Missouri has gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the outside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Some contact. He nails the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Kicks off the lazy pass. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. off the charts, Brad. He'll go to the line. Makes the first. Second shot is no good. He grabs the board. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Looking for a good shot. Watkins receives the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> There's the trap. Perfectly executed. Receives the pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Double team now, bad angle. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw the foul. Gives it up. He intercepts it. Change in possession. The defense not then went and got it. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. shoulders down there and I think the defense is winning Dick. I tell you doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught and this kid has responded in a positive way. Uh, 
poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Awesome, Brad. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Jumps into the defender. Missouri have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the inside. They move it into the front court. He tries the three ball. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drains the shot. good defense a steal on the inside oh what a way to force the turnover great anticipation by the post player and a momentary look from three-point land way off target jumps in and he scores despite the hack in the paint he makes a nice shot fake he up fakes very soft defensively. That one's blocked from behind. Rotation by the D. I love it. Picked out of the air. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. Steals a pass. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explain. Can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Tennessee and put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Coffee is animated and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two, in and out. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Up and inside. He's got some room. And right in the circle. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before. So we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. Thanks, Aaron. On the outside. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop.
He shoots. He hits the tough shot. I'm just up and down with ease, Brad. He shoots from downtown. He shows the sweet touch. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Launches away. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Tennessee are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes in. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They run it up into transition. For the bucket, the Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. And they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to go. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Here they go into the break. Tennessee are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Tickles a twine. Steel, go up the other way, get a layup. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. Working around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. He puts it up. Way off target. For two. Great play to take that basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tennessee are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. 
Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Picked off. For the bucket. Makes it. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. slow things down. Man, what action. No kidding. If they keep this pace up, who knows what the final score will be. In the paint. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get blown like I am. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Moving it around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. This is worth the second look. Shot clock is dead. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the boys up there. Yeah, that helps. At the half, the Volunteers are ahead by two. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. Missouri is not having the best of days on the boards in the first half. Hey, so far rebound and performance by this squad so far. Seems like everybody's waiting for someone else to grab the rock. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? I just wish you wouldn't see the David and Goliath. And you know that a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to calm out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Rucker takes the shot. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student section looks like they're having a great time. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Scorches the net. Oh, 
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Goes up for two. The Volunteers are ahead by five. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Slam jam there. Up and away. The elevator man. They love it. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He lets it go. Drains it. The Tigers trail by five. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Drains the shot. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Tigers are down by four. They'll work it around the arc. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Fakes the jumper. That spin move not successful, Vic. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Sinks it. Expression tells it all. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Intercepted. He shoots from left of the circle, nails the tray. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. Got the high pick. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on our campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. There's a double team waiting there. Robs him of the ball. Looking for the foul. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in an ice inside basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed.
with a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Field steps to the line for the first time. Misses. He takes the board. Good job defensively. Kicks it out. He fires away. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. Oh. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. the circle they work it around the perimeter takes away the pass on the dribble gives it up tries to get the D to bite he beats him to the punch and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot and the ball goes out of bounds you start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And a momentary look from three-point land. Picks off the lazy pass. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you've got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. Dick, look at the number of points on turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Double team now, bad angle. He puts it in with contact and all. Great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Tries for two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Up and inside. From three point range. Sinks the shot. Off. 
like he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on the defensive player. There's the trap. Fakes the shot. They work it around the perimeter. And now there's a whistle and a foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, the underdogs are playing with a nothing-to-lose mentality tonight. They're shouting on the bench. Let's leave it out on the floor. We've got an upset in the making. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Gave it up on the inside. Up fake. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Steals the pass. I'll tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. it up. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Sets the screen for his teammate. Stolen away. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Easy bucket coming here. Hunt makes it. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. At the free throw line. Opportunity. He buries it. They scored seven in a row. Takes it away. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He launches a three. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. it up here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer that's a 12 nothing run trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing tries for two perfectly executed He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's the fake. And 
the top of the key. He gets that one to fall. Take a look at this. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for contact. He buries the shot. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. Trying to draw some contact. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Missouri are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He dials long distance. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up and get in trouble with what position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. There's a double team waiting there. For three, way off target. Trying to draw the foul. Finger roll. in front to take it away. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass looking for a good shot he's got a high post flasher pump fakes he looks for the bomb. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Play about ready to resume. This one might go down to the final buzzer. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. Intercepted. The center receives the pass. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Side. He shoots from the top of the key. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition.
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Got a nice screen. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Rims out. And he scores it off the glass. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He shoots from long range. He drains the bucket. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Block shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The Tigers call a timeout, and let's go court side to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. It's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. See what they set up, Dick. Now they work it around the perimeter. He launches a three. He gets it to go. It's a three point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He pump fakes. He shoots from the top of the circle, misses the three. And the ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Looks for a three-pointer. He gets the bucket to fall. Shot clock is dead. They'll work it around the arc. Look at these fans. They're loving it. It's electrifying in here. The point guard gets the pass. That's a foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Feeling they 
to change things up a little bit, Dave. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. He puts it up at the horn. He nails the trifecta. Missouri loses the game. I don't think anyone expected him to pull out a win tonight. So for Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.